Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to document an API using a Mentlify. So this video is meant for the people that have basic knowledge of Mentlify. You know how to create an account on Mentlify. You know how to make simple changes on Mentlify. And you know how to push your changes to Mentlify. So if you're a total beginner, I would advise you go to documentation and learn how to work with that, learn about the basics, then you can come to this video. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to head over to the documentation and go over to the API reference section. So we have the interactive playground, we have the using open API, we have using MDX. So interactive um, playground is is more like a section on, on the docs, on the API reference docs that gives you the ability to test. So you have the open API spec. So if you want to design your API reference using open API spec and bring it down to the platform that is also workable here. So you have the ability to design it, download the open API file, which is normally in a YAML extension then you bring it down to um, Mentlify, you can be able to use it. So whatever changes you want to do, you just go over there, make your changes, and download a newer one and bring it down here. But if you feel you want to design it using Mentlify, you don't want to do it doing back and forth with, it, with um, using the Open API spec, then that's also possible. So you can also do that here. Um, no, no, this. So I guess the next thing for us to learn are the components. So there are key components that you need to know that you, that you have to use on your API documentation. So on Mentlify, we have the parameter fields. So these components help define the parameters for your APIs or SDKs. So you have use the parameter field. Then you have the response field. So this also help you design your response. And look at the code snippet here. So you have the parameter field. So this is it. Okay, so you have the expandables. So which this are this will help you design your API does. Okay, so now let's go to work. So like I said earlier on, that this is not um, for total beginners because you might be asking how I got this here. So if you know Mutify Basics, you know how I got this here. So this was downloaded from my GitHub. So when you register an account, when you create an account, you know, automatically have your project on GitHub. So I cloned it locally so I could make my changes. So if you want to get an API reference, so this is the root folder. Where you have snippet, API reference, essentials, images, logo. So today we are more focused on the API reference. So you click the API reference and click the endpoint. So let me run so you will get to see the available endpoints. So use Mintify Dev. All right, so, so our project is ready on Lookahouse. It is our project and is API reference. All right, so we have one, two, three, and four crates. Get user, create user, bit user, and delete user. So these are the endpoints we have your create delete, get, and update. So the question you want to ask is how will I add mine? I want to add a new one. So under this endpoint folder, you create a new folder. Because you create a new file, so the file should have a name of what you want. So before that, we'll be using JSON place folder API. Once again, thanks to the team for putting this up. So you can also see the link here. So you go and check them out to help you follow up with this tutorial.
All right, so we'll be using let's test with their get and also test with their with their posts too. So this is their get. Okay, let's try with the post so we see how to add the interactivity on with the file. So we have the post. So this is the base URL. And these are the body parameters, the title, the body, and the user ID. These are string values, and this is an in the file. So this, these are the most important things you should be bothered about when you want to design an API docs. You need to know about the method, you need to know the endpoint, you need to know the base URL, you need to know the body parameters and what they are so that you can explain that to your users so you don't ask so many questions. And also, you need to add an example um, request so they will know that this is how I will run it. And also a, an example response they get. So when they get something different, they will be sure that this is quite different from what we saw on the docs. So which means something might be wrong somewhere. Okay, so we earlier on we talked about um, the parameter field and the response field. So going on Minkify, let's click on the get. So we see the get, so this is, the definition, the description of the endpoint. This is the title of the endpoint. This is the body. And this is where you can now send your request. So, and this is the body parameters explained. So, example, example request, and the response. So, when you run this, you're going to likely have something similar to this. All right, so let's do as. So we are creating creating a resource. So let's use a simple name, create. Okay, now the extension is done MX. So now let me explain this front matter. So here is title, get user, here is the API, here is the method, this is the endpoint. So you have your endpoint, and this is the base area. So you put all together. This is the description. This endpoint gets or creates your new user. So coming down here, you would see get user. It gets user here. This is a get method. We're having gets here. Then description. This endpoint gets or creates. So this endpoint gets or creates a new user. So now this is a get. So let's change it to post so you see how it works. So you change to post. And I use a post. So we go back to get. Get. Okay, so let's add to the first. Okay, we created that already. So let's add our front matter. So create the resource. And create a resource is a post. So we are copying everything here, the base URL and the endpoint, which is post. So we copy everything here. So this endpoint creates. So also make sure your description is straight to the point. This endpoint creates a new resource. So Let's check if we can have it up. It's time to increase a new resource. Okay, so now one thing again I would like you to notice here. If you go click on your mint.json and you go under the endpoint examples. So let's go back here. So look at it here. It's always under endpoint examples. 
So you go under endpoint examples. Once you come to the mint of JS, you get to make changes to this. So you can change this to whatever name, the logo, you can change the logo, the five icon, you can change top bar link. This is where you make changes to your tabs, how you want it to be. This is where you do your configuration. So you scroll down and look for API examples. Yeah. Look for endpoint examples. Now you have to create yours here. So let me take this off. Let's check, look at the resource. Now it's no longer there. So when you create and you don't add it here, it's not gonna reflect. So one thing I would like you to know is this is the location, API reference slash endpoint, then you now talk about your endpoint. So, and our endpoint is C-arrow, C-arrow, I guess. C-arrow, C-arrow, okay. So this is this create a resource and it's a post method. So you click it. So this endpoint creates a new resource. So we don't have anything, it's still empty. So we are still adding. So the next thing we want to add is the body. So we talked about the body parameters. They have the param field. So one we have here is the title. I told you this is I to not that's a title of a user. Next one we have is body. The next one we have is user ID. All right, so this is the this is the ID of a user. So this it's not needed. So now we have a type. So the title is of type string, the body is of type string, and the user ID is of type int. So to confirm, come here. The title is string, the body is string, and the user ID is int. Then we save and let us preview what we have done. Let us preview what we have done. Let's do what we have done. Okay. All right, so we have created a resource. This endpoint creates a new resource, post slash post. You have the title, you have the border, you have the user ID. So, and we also explained body parameters, the title, this is the title of a user, the body, this is the body of a user, the user ID, this is the user ID of a user. So we have all this explained. So that is why that came up. So if you want to have the response also explained, you would use this response field parameter. So you can use this thing to explain that for your users. So now the next thing I think we'll add is the request example. So looking at this, the request example is not here. So we'll just 
this is just generated by this so if you want to add yours you can do that but if you want the system to auto generate for you which is what they did here you can do that so you can leave it for them so let's try to add the request this example so this is what's the request example so we're not making changes to this although this is not correct but i'm just trying to show you how to document so you go and generate this for what you have and you and you're able to run that to make sure it's working make sure you before you put a request example here make sure you run it it's working before you bring it down here so this is this you have a request example so now you also need to add um a request a response example so the response example can be added when you get a response so you don't just add any response at all so the title is let's say we call these tanks this body we say a and user id we call it one and you send the request so this is the response so you see what i talked about the interactivity which is very cool so you can be able to test on your platform without going out of this platform so now we come under this and we change it to what we have here and save so you see it's empty but that's going to come up underneath here so we have this here so that's cool so with this you've updated your you've known how to create and design very cool and interactive api documentation on Mutlify. So you have the most important ingredients in API documentation. You can do them here. The title, you have the description of your endpoint, you have the method, you have the endpoint, you have the request um, body, body parameters where they can test and it's interactive. You can test on the platform. You don't need to leave the platform. You also have a section where you describe or explain each parameter, each body parameter, which is very important. So the users know what the title is, so that I will know what I can add in a title, what the user ID is, so I will know what to add in the user ID. Then you have an example response. So if you don't want to add the water generate for you, if you want, don't want to use this, you can also use this one. Then the response also, this is the response. So the response you got. So with this, users will really enjoy using your platform because it's interactive and it also has all the ingredients that they need so i guess that's all so if you want to add more endpoints so you come here follow the same step i did so we add more endpoints as you want so if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and i'll attend to that later thank you